वेरी वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू ऑल इफ यू होप ऑल यू गाइज आर हैविंग अ सुपर अमेजिंग डे गोइंग ऑन नाउ इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग एन अमेजिंग डे डोंट वरी बिकॉज आई एम गुड मेक इट अमेजिंग सिंस वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद अ न्यू चैप्टर टूडे दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट एंड इट्स इफेक्ट आर यू ऑल रेडी If you are all ready click on that like button right away and if you are new here a very warm welcome to my class my name is Mohan master teacher of science from Vedantu and this class is going to get very 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 interesting because we are about to learn a lot of amazing things in today's session and i hope all of you guys are ready for the uh, you know session right away if you are new to Vedantu young wonders do not forget to hit on that subscribe button and also like this video right away Okay so what is this chapter going to be all about hmm we have in the, in the previous year you guys have learnt about you know electric you know electricity how important electricity is all of that in this chapter we'll be learning specifically about electric current electric circuits also its effects all of that is what we'll be learning in this class guys okay so with that we shall quickly begin now a very beautiful quote for all of us what we learn becomes a part of who we are very beautiful quote so if you learn good things you become a very good person so whatever we learn it becomes a part of us it it makes who we are right now isn't it so let's all learn good things amazing things interesting things all right let's go forward so the learning outcomes of today's session is going to be so you will all be learning about different electrical components and their symbols the representation of simple electrical circuits the heating effect of electric current and its application so the, all of these three topics is what we'll be covering in this class right today okay so now we'll first get on with the a simple circuit here guys we see electric circuits everywhere you must have seen electric circuits in your home right now this mic is working because of electric circuits right the bulb right there is working because of an electric circuit so how do these circuits work okay but before we understand how circuits work we have to understand each and every part of this circuit those are called components of the electric circuit the components are electric cell electric bell switch resistor etc a lot of things are there so there are so many components we'll be focusing on few of the major components like cell battery bulb wire uh, you know different types of switches all of that now these uh, you know electrical components they look like this like how you see on the screen they, uh, they this is how they look that's how in fact the cell looks a bulb looks like that and a homemade switch looks like that all of that is fine but what about their symbols what if i have to draw a electric circuit what if i have to draw when guys we all know for example let me draw and show you okay i am a good uh, artist so for i don't have a problem but you but oh, <laughs> sometimes it becomes very very difficult for all of us for example check this out i am a very good uh, artist you guys know me <laughs> if i have to make a simple electric circuit okay first of all we need source of electricity the source of electricity is going to be our electric cell this is positive terminal this is negative terminal so wherever there is cap that is positive terminal on the other side it's negative okay now i have to draw the source of light which is which is a bulb see i told you i'm good in drawing <laughs> now i need to connect the two terminals of the uh, uh, cell with the bulb that we all know so one wire from here and one more wire from here done now what will happen the electric current will start flowing through this circuit isn't it chuck 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 through the bulb and back to the negative terminal and what happens the bulb starts to glow right and guys we all know that electric current always flows from where from positive to negative that is how electric current always flows simple but for a small cell and a small bulb all of this is fine what if my circuit becomes more complicated 
what if i can't keep drawing like this in that cases what do we need guys we need electrical symbols so symbols will help us each of this component will have a symbol so we'll learn about the electrical symbols okay so let's go back yeah so as i told you look at this guys this is the actual circuit here we have a light bulb we have a switch battery resistor guys what is a battery battery is nothing but more than one cell so when you have more than one cell it's called as a battery yeah so here we have three cells so it's a battery and it's exact circuit diagram see this is the symbol for bulb symbol for resistor symbol for switch symbol for battery these are the corresponding symbols for all of this electrical components simple okay now i'll draw and show you guys again not a problem at all so what is how does a, a cell look like for example if you have to draw a cell a cell is nothing but one long line and one short line the longer line indicates positive the shorter line indicates negative this is a cell what if i need battery one cell the second cell the third cell right always remember the opposite pole should be connected positive negative positive negative positive negative on one side we have negative on one side we have positive this is what battery guys what about a bulb bulb is very simple okay so inside what do we have you have a filament and outside the entire symbol is called the bulb how are wires represented wires are just lines okay how is switch represented for example check this out now this is part of the circuit but electric current is not flowing because it's broken it's not touching here so switch is off now now switch is on because electric current can flow through this these are the different symbols that we all have in this chapter very simple guys okay simple symbols <laughs> next so for a switch the on position and the off position are represented by the symbol shown here yeah see as i told you the same symbols when it is off position the circuit is broken electric current is not flowing in the circuit when the switch is in on position electric current is flowing okay simple now next one look at this circuit diagram guys very simple now i want you all to understand this circuit diagram more detailly how can we do it let's see okay guys we all have played with toy trains right we all have played with toy trains how does a toy train look okay now where does this toy train run it runs on track okay now it's it's a circular track the train can run easily in the track we all know it yeah no problem so when the track is i want you all to relate the train with current electric current and the track with circuit right so when the track is complete when there is no gap anywhere the track is proper electric current flows through it but suddenly the track becomes cut the circuit is open right electric current cannot flow through it okay i, I am repeating again guys if if the circuit is open if the circuit is closed it is complete okay and there is a flow of charges electric current flows bulb will glow if the circuit is open that means it is incomplete if it is incomplete there is no flow of charges there is no flow then there is no glow also simple i hope you guys are able to see it 
right i repeat again if it is closed it's a complete circuit the bulb will glow if it is open it's an incomplete circuit the bulb will not glow simple got it guys check this out very simple i hope this makes you guys understand circuits better right cool let's go back now right next one so circuit diagram is a pictorial representation of a circuit with electrical symbols for its respective parts so for bulb for this is a cell this is a a, a, a switch switch is in on position switch is in off position when switch is on circuit is closed bulb will glow switch is off circuit is open bulb will not glow simple guys okay now let us talk about heating effect of electric current very interesting it's going to be but before we learn about heating effect of electric current guys i want to tell you something amazing today okay now i know that most of you guys are in your summer holidays right now you guys are looking for what to learn i want to learn something interesting so for all of you guys i am giving you a wonderful opportunity to learn something very very exciting now you all know i'm a person who loves space what if i tell you you have courses related to space which you can take it up as a summer course interesting isn't it all you guys have to do is scroll down my video you'll find click here for astrophysics click on it once you click on it check out the entire website so for 2500 what all do you get you will be getting live interactive course where you will be learning about so many things about stars planets comets nebulae star clusters galaxies many such amazing things is what you will be learning guys so click on join now and take up the courses right away take up the courses right away okay now if you are somebody who's looking for grade 7 entire package that's for your cbse even that courses are available guys at a very nominal price you just have to click on for cbse grade 7 If you are from any other grades, you can change your grade here to eighth, sixth, any grade. View course, guys. Trust me, for an entire academic year, for your whole year, for three subjects: math, English, science. All the three subjects, the course price is just eight thousand hundred, guys. Now it is not just classes. You will be getting hundred percent doubt solving in the class. live doubt solving live in class quizzes and leaderboard imagine how fun it would be for you know having a leaderboards having quizzes in every concept all india test series assignments and class notes study materials so many amazing things just for 8100 it's 9000 but if you use my coupon code which is mkpro the price comes down to 8100 so take it up right today guys you have all the payment options i want you guys to show your parents this amazing website all you have to do is click on this link here ask them to check out the entire website see what all you're getting okay at the entire course overview plus why to take this course everything is given here guys any faqs you guys have yeah see will i get recordings of the classes yes So show this to your parents. Ask them to check out the entire website and then take up the courses right away, guys. Trust me, it's going to be a very, very amazing course for all of you. Okay, now let's go back to the class. Beautiful. Heating effect of electric current, guys. How many of us have put our phones in charge, slept? Next morning you wake up, your entire charger cable is hot. Right, exactly. So what happens is whenever electric current passes through a wire the wire becomes hot now this is called as heating effect of electric current i repeat again whenever electric current flows through a wire the wire becomes hot and that is called as heating effect of electric current okay the same thing is happening in the bulb also what happens in the bulb we all know that bulb has a filament let me show you again So we all know that bulb has a filament. Look at this, guys. Uh, 
okay inside the bulb what is there there is a thin wire guys okay now one end is connected to one side of the battery other end is connected to other side of the battery okay electric current flows from positive to negative right so when electric current flows through this wire this is the filament very thin guys it becomes hot and what happens when metals become hot it starts to glow what is the filament made up of tungsten so it starts to glow and produces light this is a application of heating effect of electric current okay interesting yes now next one so on what does this heat depend on the amount of heat produced in the wire depends on its material depends on the length of the wire depends on its thickness all the three so depends on material length and thickness that determines how much uh, you know heat is produced in the wire all right guys so that is it for today guys and the next one is there are many many applications where where we use heating effect of electric current like electric heaters fuse electric ions lot of things we use the heating effect of electric currents only all right so i hope all of you understood what we learned today in today's class it was very very interesting teaching you all and guys quickly let me know any three objects which uses heating effect of electric current in the comment section right away Okay now don't forget about the courses guys you have astrophysics courses you also have grade 7 ka entire year academic year ka course do take it up right today show the website to your parents i can't wait to see you guys all in the classes okay so i'll see you guys all in the next class until then do not forget to hit on the subscribe button share like and comment i'll see you all in the next class until then this me mohan signing off all if you take care stay safe stay as lovely as always you guys are bye bye